Hi, I hope this video finds you well. I am taking a look this week at the uh, arrival of Jesus in Galilee as he first began his ministry and he declares his message, which is um, good news. The Messiah is here. Um, and then also repent from your sins because the kingdom is at hand. So uh, this post is a little bit long, even though the text is pretty short. Now, uh, I think necessarily long because we're talking about the scope of this entire message, which is the very basic part of Jesus's mission and ministry. Um, and then also, of course, a little bit about Galilee itself and the geography and such. So <clears throat> I apologize in advance, sort of for a long post, but I hope you get a lot out of it. A couple things I wanted to highlight are uh, Jesus in these passages is called a prophet. And at first I had a little bit of a tough time with that because um, to me, a prophet had always just been a person. And so I struggled with the fact that Jesus is God and that he could also be called a prophet of God. Um, but in the Old Testament, looking at the Zondervan um, Pictorial Encyclopedia of the Bible, of the Bible it says uh, the term prophet in the Old Testament really just meant a mouthpiece for God. And so Jesus, even though he was God, he was a physical manifestation and brought this message physically to the people. And so in terms of the basic definition of a prophet, he, he met the criteria. So um, I got over that issue. And, um, and certainly after having researched it, I feel better about my understanding of what a prophet is and how Jesus is one. So um, additionally, I um, wanted to look at that message of repentance and um, why John the Baptist and Jesus both said, repent, because the kingdom is at hand. Well, all the Jews at that time were expecting the Messiah to bring a physical kingdom. So he was going to release them from the power of Rome, and he was going to become their king, and they were going to be a nation again. And that, that was what they were expecting. And so when John the Baptist and Jesus both say, repent, because the kingdom is at hand, I'm not sure if they necessarily would have understood what relevance repentance had to their getting their um, identity back um, and their freedom. So, um, but historically in the Bible, the Israelites would have seen people, um, their own people be punished for disobeying God and be rewarded or blessed for obeying God. So in that case, it's entirely possible that it's like, get yourself right, because God's not going to give you this blessing unless you've, you've got your heart in the right place, or you've stopped sinning and, um, you know, you've turned away from your evil ways. So, um, anyway, those were a couple things that sort of struck me about the passage and that I decided to take a closer look at, but there is a lot more in there. So, uh, good luck and I'll see you again next time.